Laura Marie, and I wanted to tell you about a dream that I had a long time ago. When I was in my 20s and my early 30s, I was doing a lot of spiritual practices at the ashram that I lived near, and I was singing in Sanskrit and Bengali, and I was doing gardening work almost every day, and was there for all the puja worship celebrations. And I thought those years were kind of wasted years in the sense that mm, I stayed home a lot. I didn't talk very much. I was very quiet and shy. And, uh, and I rested a lot. But then, uh, I look back on that time and I remember, and I think I was doing great work then actually. And I remember some dreams that I had and I wanted to tell you one of the dreams. So this was my time traveling interplanetary uh, librarian historian dream. So in this dream, I was looking for a manuscript and I was in a forest. Well, the beginning part of the dream was different from the rest, but the beginning part, I was in a forest. I was encountering people and places and looking for the manuscript. I finally found it. It was kind of half buried and it was in a box, like a long flat box that was covered in dirt and I think it had been hidden there. But I, I got this manuscript, it was so valuable and I was so glad and I took it and I headed toward a particular spot. So I was in the forest, but I headed into the city. And in the city, all heck was breaking loose. There were explosions going on in the horizon. The people were freaking out. Uh, the sky was not the normal sky color. It was a, it was a pinkish, whitish color. And I was heading toward a particular building with my manuscript tucked under my arm. And I saw a bunch of people coming out of the building and they were taking their shirts off. They were taking off their clothes. And I, those people were mostly scientists. And I got the feeling that they were doing that because there were ashes. Some ashes had started falling from the sky. They were whitish, grayish ashes. And I think their clothes were contaminated and that's why they were taking them off. And everybody was leaving the city and heading toward the forest. So I was going the opposite direction that everyone else was going. And when I saw the scientists tearing off their shirts, I knew something really bad was going on in this city. And there was a child. So I was walking up the stairs of this, build, this big building. There was a child who was kind of freaking out on the steps. And I picked him up and I was carrying him. And there was a song. There was like a cinematic song that was playing that said the words of the song were, this is the most important moment of your life. And I took out my cell phone, which was a flip phone at the time, because it was um, a long time ago. This, this dream I had, <laughs> this dream I had was uh, about 20 years ago, or 15 years ago. So I took out the phone out of my pocket and I opened it up to call my ex, my ex-husband. So I found his name. I scrolled through some names and found his name. But I didn't get to talk to him. Uh, I entered the building. I found a special room, the designated room. There was a, a large oval table and there were people all around the table and they had been waiting for me to show up with this manuscript. So I took it, I put the manuscript down in the middle of the table and there was a a sense of triumph, like finally we've done it. So, uh, I, don't, I think someone said that. I think someone said, okay, we got it. Now we could go. So we were, we all held hands, the people sitting around the table, and we all disappeared. And that was the end of the dream. And I always, when I woke up, I remember I thought, that is the most amazing dream I've ever had. <laughs> And I, I really liked that dream, and I thought about it a lot over, over the years. And I feel like in that dream, I was 
time traveling and going to different planets to collect the uh, important documents, manuscripts, books, like religious, probably religious texts. I felt like it was religious. Um, be, as the civilizations destroyed themselves. So I felt like this planet that I was on had was destroying itself with nuclear war. And I needed to get that manuscript and then I, we were we were all we had all been working on this project together and we held hands and we disappeared to go to a safe place, you know, cuz that planet was becoming uninhabitable because of the nuclear bombs that had just been used. So this uh this dream was important to me and it helps me see when I look back on my 20s and early 30s that I wasn't just like twiddling my thumbs or wasting my time. I felt like I was doing like spiritual work that transformed me and that I was uh, able to receive uh, like some big themes in my dreams and some big, big uh, messages. Whether, you know, whether that's from God or the Oversoul or myself or my own imagination, uh, it was important to me. So thanks for hearing me talk about my dream.